Let's see.
Teka, ano yung B? Pwedeng, pwedeng patingin ng calculation mo. Parang um, may... C is equal to square root of 5, di ba? So B squared equals 4. Okay, tapos yung equations ng asymptotes. Okay. Yan yung sa ano, di ba? Yung equation na yan ay in the in what coordinate system? So, and kung kailangan natin, so the middle one, middle one, he will in equations for for the asymptotes in the unprimed system. So if you simplify them, and then is is separate mo nasa into two separate equations. So simplify mo na in case na what if positive, what if negative. Kasi masadong magulo ka pag itay mo pag samahan. Tapos yung isa. Okay. Ayan. Okay. 13. So, okay na yan, ano? So, let's do... Ay, then. Sorry. Sige. Okay na. Iyan mo muna.
Where this is, I have a false I have the enables. Seven x squared plus seven y squared equals seventy seven. Okay, so the ellipse. 
Oops. Okay, yeah. The vertices of the ellipse are plus or minus square root of 11. Di ba hindi siya, yung saan ba related? Ano ba yung C? Di ba that's a parameter for the focus? Okay. Taka. Vertices of the ellipse are Okay, and then ah, hindi ganon to. I mamaya mo niyan. I express mo muna yung vertices and foci of the ellipse. Or hanapin mo muna silang dalawa bago mo i-translate into yung sa hyperbola. Kasi nami-mix up eh. Ah, okay. So, the vertices are the full side of this ellipse. Okay, cool. So, kasi di ba halimbawa, yung sa, yung sa 11, yung, yung i-analyze mo muna yung ellipse. Ano yung vertex at ano yung focus. Hanawin mo muna yung coordinates. And then, from there, pag nakuha mo yun, saka, saka mo i-translate into the, ano yung sa hyperbola. Kasi may ABC for the hyperbola. May ABC then para sa, para sa ellipse. At confusing, confusing kapag naghalo sila. So analyze the ellipse first. para hindi magulo. This is 
pools of the universe. Pega, C squared equals A squared plus B squared for an ellipse. Ilowing mo yung ellipse, tapos nasa at yung focus, yung vertex. Diba? Kaya, para makita mo yun, ano, bakit? Anyway, sige. So, C squared equals 4 or C equals 2. So, ngayon, focus of hyperbola. is plus or minus square root of zero minus zero. And then vertex of the hyperbola. R plus or minus two. Zero. So for the hyperbola, So, uh, so ilian mo yung so ano yung focus of the ellipse? Ano yung vertices vo, vo, for side of the ellipse? Vertices of the ellipse. I list down mo muna before you say anything about the hyperbola. The for side of the ellipse are So, any coordinates on four side? Okay, tapos next statement the vertices of the ellipse. Okay, 
Okay? Ngayon, so nakuha mo na yan, gamitin mo ngayon yung statement na the the, the foci are the vertices and the vertices are the foci para may masabi ka naman tungkol sa hyperbola. Useful na isulat yan eh. Pwede ka mag-insert ng extra page. Ako. No, I mean, dyan sa ano. Remember, hindi, ka, hindi tayo nagtitipid sa papel kasi virtual yan eh. Sure. So, ilagay mo lang ko na new, yung, so, pag new problem, new sheet. Tsaka, ganun ko rin pinapagawa sa mga students eh, kasi, pag chinechikan yan, usually, na try na gawin ng teachers na chikan yung isang question item lang ng lahat. So it's useful to separate them. Okay, di ba tayo tapos? Ano ba hinahanap? The equation. Of the hyperbola. Yeah, it's like that. So nakuha mo na yung...
Teka na yan. Ano yung B ulit? B squared is 7. Okay. Yeah. So, yung next. Ano yun eh. Tapos yung pag tinatype, yung nagta-type ka ng question, huwag mong gawin na itatype mo muna lahat. It's mas okay na itype mo siya just before sagutan mo. Kasi it helps you read the question din eh. Kesa yung itatype mo muna tapos may na tayong balikan mo, babasahin mo na naman ulit. The cup of a commodity is Okay, so the uh, Okay, so at point Find the curve. Which ship? To be supplied. Either A or B. With the same total cost. Yeah. 
ang assumption natin no, nasa plane yung places kung pwede kang mag-san ka pwede mag-deliver. Parang hindi po siya shield. Parang gano'n lang. Tapos, ano? Uh, Black lang po lahat. at negative 1 Gamit ka ng ano, ng let's say n units ang na-produce. Para meron tayong placekeeper na variable. Tapos magdi-decide ka. May isang location x y Why you do three five? Let me go and I'll go if I'm not negative two. Can you know that was enough? That was a robot. Negative fifty zero, fifty zero. Tapos x y is the delivery point. Magkani yung cost? So cost of delivery. Ani yun? Gawin mo yung isa isa mo. Cost of delivery from A. To X Y of n units. What is kaya ko total cost? Hindi yun nga. Lalabas yung ano yun? Let's say may meron kang n units of na ide deliver. Ani yung cost? Sure, pipili ka na ano? Kapag A yung ginamit mo versus kapag B yung ginamit mo. It's equal to mm, tapos, the cost of goods. I think cost of goods na lang. Cost of kasi delivery plus yung production yan eh. Total cost from total cost from A. So, yung price ng good, N times price. Uh, sabihin natin yung price ay P na lang. Let P be the price. From, of production. Production cost from at A. Let, let P sub B. Let P be the cost of production at cost of production at B. So P minus. Tapos ang ang sabi no. 
twelve dollars pa or twelve cents? Well, ah, uh, hindi po. Ah, uh, twelve dollars, twelve dollars less. Ah, may important distinction kasi ganun gamit na pang post dollars kasi. Hmm. So, P minus twelve, yung cost of production, uh, cost of production pag A, plus yung distance from uh, x, y. So, x minus x plus 50 plus y square, square root. Ito yung distance. Tapos, yung cost ay 20 cents per unit. So, times 0.20. per unit. Okay. Tapos, total cost per unit. Teka, magkaiba yung D na yan, ha? Kasi pag yung, yung ina-assume dito, yung sa A, distance from A. Yung sa B, distance from B. Kasi, ano yan, eh? Sige mo, dalawang factories Kung di-decide ka, saan ka bibili? Kung alam mo yung cost ng delivery plus cost per, pag, plus factory cost. Mag-focus ka sa ano, price per unit lang. So, let P be the price of a single unit. I think baka mas ano niya, para bawas yung variables natin. Ito mm, nga po, price per unit. The distance from point to point to, so distance from... Hindi, uh, uh... ganito. Di ba, isipin mo, nasa plane ka. Yung A at saka B... Yung A, negative 50, 0. Yan yung location ng factory A. Yung B, nasa 50, 0. So, i-label mo na B. Yung sa diagram mo, lagyan mo na label na B yung 50, 0. Tapos, pili ka na isang arbitrary point. Hindi, hindi in between, no? Anywhere Ang point. assumption dyan ay anywhere on the plane. So, choose an arbitrary point on the plane for specificity. X, y. X, y. So, mark lang. Mark on your diagram yung isang specific X, Y. Tapos, yung distance from A to X, Y, ano? Yung distance from B to X, Y, ano? Ay, nga po. Ay, nga Tapos yung in cents A is, kaya hindi pwede yung 100P plus 20D at saka 100P plus 20D kasi magkaiba yung distances na yan. So ah, you should okay. use D sub A and D sub B. So distance from A, so D sub A at saka D sub B. Tapos, yung, yung 20, di ba 20 cents? So, that should be 0.20 times D sub A. Kasi, yung, yung is para consistent yung ano. Okay. So, it should be 0.20 times D sub A.
So, kaya niya binigay na per unit kasi masimple kapag ano eh, per unit yung 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 assumption diyan. So, P minus 12 plus 0.20 D sub A. Yeah. Okay, so dawing nila na D sub D sub A. So D sub A equals Uh, bakit minus y square? Okay, so So, substitute mo ngayon yan dun sa sineta po na price So, P minus 12 plus 0.20 D sub A. So, cost from A is so P minus 12 plus 0.20. And then, ayan. Okay. So gusto nating malaman yung yung ano, yung indifference curve. Saan so on, sa curve na to it, it doesn't matter where you buy from. So Yeah, so set so set up mo lang. Ayan. Okay. Hindi ko na papa... Uh, simplify mo na lang to tapos pakita mo sa akin next meeting. Kasi 6pm na eh. Pero may kita mo, oh, yung, yung P magka-cancel. Tapos, yung itsura niya, di ba? Katulad nung derivation natin ng equation ng hyperbola. Ah, okay. So parang right side po na hyperbola. Hmm. So if you divide both sides by 0.20, Mukha siyang equation, definition ng hyperbola na yung difference between the distances is equal to a constant, which we get here. So ito po yung pinaka-efficient na ano, uh, location if you are to buy mm -hmm. from po. And then, actually, hindi siya efficient location. It's more of, yan yung indifference, yung it doesn't matter where you buy from. Mabok. Kasi equal yung cost. Tapos, ang tingnan mo rin yung ano, si figure out mo, kaya naman, so sa ang region, mas mura bumili kay B, sa ang region, mas mura bumili kay A. Okay. So, inequalities yan eh. 
kapag uh, pag ano dito kasi nandito po yung B, tapos sa new setup here, tapos nandito po yung A, siya mas mura po. So there's like some sort of line na So yan yung so yung so yung curve na yan, 'di ba? Yan yung kung so yung sa hyperbola na yan, yan yung curve kung saan pa same price. So it doesn't matter saan ka bibili. So tapos dapat meron din kanin. Mas separate mo yung plane into regions where mas mura from A, mas mura from B. Tapos yan yung ano, yan yung boundary Parang yan yung magiging boundary. Yung hyperbola. I think ang mangyayari niyan, yung sa ano, yung mas malapit kay A, I think yung nasa, yung nasa isang, di ba, sa loob ng, ng, isang, ng isang branch ng hyperbola, malamang mas mura yung kay A dun eh. Sa, sa loob ng isa, mas mura kay B. Tapos hindi ko, ko pa na-imagine yun, ano, kung ano nangyayari dun sa nasa yung outside yung nasa labas ng hyperbola. Anyway, tingnan natin next time. Okay, so we will stop here. I'll see you again on Sunday. So sa Sunday, magsisimula tayo ng magsimula tayo ng ano? So we'll start at 5, we'll end at 7. Tapos Thursday next week para to partially make up for yung yung isang missing day. Okay, we'll start at 4. Thank you po. Okay, so so see you on Sunday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Umuulan po sa inyo, sir. Umuulan. Umuulan. May, ano, ah, may eh, padating na bagi, di ba? May padating na bagi po eh, no? Ay, no, wala pa naman. Medyo malayo po siya, pero ang expectation this weekend po. Oh. Apo, apo. So, ito yung local na thunderstorm, thunderstorm na siguro to. Okay po. All right. So, bye-bye. Bye-bye po. Oh, what's that? Is it recording, man? Ah, it's recording.